Now, I think sometimes when we look at social media, like myself, social media and children, for me, it's a no-go zone. Social media and teenagers, even worse. I mm -hmm. just, I, for me, I just, I don't believe a child should have social media. If you as an adult, you get traumatized by the stuff people say online. Mm -hmm. You, fully adult, grown woman, me, as a grown woman, people will say something online and I'm just like, nah. Imagine the kind of things that people are out here doing. Let's not forget, there are apparently all kinds of people in this world. You don't know who's accessing your child's social media. Could be a pervert. Next thing you know, your very malleable young daughter, young son, is convinced to go somewhere, things happen. We saw the other day the children who were retrieved from Kayole. Mm -hmm. A truck full of children who had been kidnapped. Those are all children living their best lives. Someone convinced them with a suite or something. They ended up getting in. It, the, like the, the children don't, in my opinion, children really don't have the capacity for social media. However, there are some advantages to children and social media. And even before we get into it, I'm going to ask Turi. Mm -hmm. When are you going to let boy child, handsome boy, become a social media uh, user? He actually yesterday asked me, will you subscribe to my channel? And I'm like, oh, like, yeah, I want to start a YouTube. And I said, okay, uh, what are you going to be talking about on your YouTube? And he said, just about cars and about God. And I was like, okay, cool. So that's when you realize that even if I try to shield them and I try to say no screens, no social media, no this, they're going to have access somewhere else. Mm -hmm. He's going to go to school and somebody is going to tell them about, oh, us in our family, we vlog. Because, you know, in this day and age, you know, there are families who are doing daily content. So uh, Atenda Shule, he'll be told, ah, yeah, me, uh, my family does this. Me, I have a YouTube channel. He'll come home and their older friends, their older boys um, where we live who stream when they're doing games, who are doing like live stream games. So he's like, oh, even me, I want to be like Rasta. He's always streaming and, you know, gaming and he's into cars. So it's cars, games, streaming. So you realize that at this point, there's absolutely no way he's not going to get on these platforms one way or another. So I think my only solution or the only way I can go about this is realizing that in this day and age, it is important to, for them to know what, what's going on. It's important to know what is Instagram and what happens on Instagram. It's important to know what happens on Facebook. I don't think they'll ever use Facebook or what happens on Snapchat. Snapchat is where, where, where they yeah. are. Wow. It's important to know what streaks are. It's important just to know what's going on so that they don't get in blindly. And yeah, so my only role as a parent or what I've been doing is just educating him mm. and then now telling him so you can only do all of these things at a certain age. Saizi, you just get on this uh, YouTube and just watch. Watch what others are doing. Consume. Mm -hmm. Yes, just consume it. But when you're ready and I can help you out and I have the time and patience, like Northwest and, and the mom, Northwest and Kim Kardashian, they have their account together. Any uh, content she puts out, Kim is there watching her and supervising. So until I have the capacity to supervise things that I'm not interested in, like cars and stream, game streaming, the best I can do is educate him. That's actually a really good perspective. I had not thought about it that way. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I see how young children are also making a lot of money from Twitch and all these other street streaming platforms and YouTube. So why would you block your child's blessings? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, I, once you put it that way, mm -hmm. I see I see how yeah. it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And everyone is doing it. Yeah, pretty so much. So you can't leave, you can't make your child be the, the, the one who doesn't mm. know what is going on. Okay, so... I think then digital literacy and media literacy is the yes. one for you because you want them to keep up with what's happening, mm -hmm. not be left behind. See, kama watu they, you know, the way we had such a weird thing where some kids had computers so they knew everything about it, and then you, you're in form four. Una kazana kulan office. Una ikwapi full stop. After school, do unenda kufa. What was it called? The computer course after after. Such embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Because the anyway, Christian parents. Yeah. Yes, said so computers, computers are the devils. <laughs> anyway, I see how that's a thing. However, there's also the collaborative learning where a lot of children actually do learn 
from each other and mm. they learn at different levels. Of course, you can't compare what people study in the US versus what people study in da 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 da. And so it's okay for you to actually let your child be exposed to actually what are kids learning in the US? What are children learning in, 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 um, in Germany? Mm. What are children learning around the world? Because it is through these experiences that you now start to open up your child to other things like competitive um, things like the UN. What do you call that thing? That it used to be called the UN? Uh, model UN mm -hmm. and all of these other amazing, amazing th assets that there are out there through the internet. So I think that collaboration can be helpful, can be very empowering, learning from other people, studying, researching, they will need the internet, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and they will need to have social media so that they can now converse with their friends. It's, it's, I see how that can also be like something mm -hmm. that's important for you to do for your children. But yes, under very keen supervision, yes. if you can. If you can, please mm. supervise. Make sure you have the privacy settings on as well. True. And given how social media is just a collective of bullies, people who will bullying pe bully people straight even to death. So mental health, taking care of the mental health is very important. But at the same time, social media can be a tool to actually cater to some of these mental health problems mm. and just creating a sense of community. For example, uh, maybe your child is impaired in a certain way. We've seen their communities for people who are autistic. We've seen co communities for people who are deaf. We've seen communities for people who have one hand and one leg. When you know Jita to do one piece. As in, there's so, <laughs> there's so many communities and so many ways that they can be connected to people they feel like, like they're similar to. But also remember, at the back of, the, of your mind, as your child is engaging with like-minded people or people they have you know so many similarities with and they're connecting please remember that they're just predators on their social yep. media and they people come in all forms shapes and, and sizes change. the same way you're teaching your child about stranger danger mm. i don't feel like they're being kidnapped squeezy sana these days it's on social media so now teach them how don't talk to strangers don't engage with people you don't know if they're Photos, getting on locations the one i'm paying for right now in roblox mm. if they're getting on roblox they're not using the actual name as the username we thought of something very random it was very weird it was just like user this 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 and I was like oh no, that sounds boring mm -hmm. so now we had to curate a name that is personal to him but still doesn't reveal who he is if he, they, if they have accounts for whatever reasons make sure the avatar is not them the whatever it's a cartoon it's their favorite car or something like that yeah and locations 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 please off. remind your children to keep your, their locations off and not tell people and not tell live. yes yes or yes, where yes. They go to or even taking pictures with the very compromising like angles that showcase your house mm -hmm. and you know i can triangulate people are weird where these streets mm -hmm. is not funny or school logo yes when you're wearing streaming, uniform you don't you don't mm -hmm. wear your uniform mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a corner in your room mm. that is not specific to anything yeah another one is let's not forget also in the form of strengthening relationships mm -hmm. um I, I can give an example of like my i think my my niece and her grandfather mm -hmm. they are seemingly very close I, I don't have a relationship like that with my daddy but at least the grandkid is getting that they change mm -hmm. anyway so instead of me stopping that relationship, wh we have WhatsApp. We have other forms of, I know people say WhatsApp is social media, but honestly, it is what it is. Mm. I think it's a messaging app. But yeah, you have WhatsApp, you have Instagram, you have all of these other social media platforms where you can actually sit down and talk to someone, keep up, keep tabs on each other, actually form relationships with people who are not necessarily within the same confines of where you are you know your kid is here in nairobi but you have relatives in in in, in, in eldoret you have relatives in kiambu kisumu let them talk to each other through social media you have relatives in the diaspora let them talk to each other through social media there's nothing wrong with it it's actually empowering for them to actually form relationships with people who are not within and that can only happen through social media and mm -hmm. the world wide web exactly and also sometimes your child has this marvelous talent they are so talented maybe it's singing or it's dancing and even when you try as hard as you can you just you're not getting them through doors how many people have we seen their lives change because they put out a video on social media because they showed their talent because they showed their drawing skills consistently on social media and maybe one day it ended up on somebody's algorithm and it got into this right person's feed and now they're famous 
a good example of how social media is good when it comes especially to teenagers is the ghetto ghetto kids uh uganda yeah, yeah, yeah. they come from a children's home and they have this uh dance group called the ghetto kids uganda do you know recently i saw them i think it was um in london yeah uh they had gone to for a chelsea game yeah and then uh i think it was yesterday they were performing at a royal event whoa a royal event yes it was giving i came to entertain my colonizer but at the same time it's still an opportunity that's a huge opportunity mm. we've seen them on america's got talent mm -hmm. we've seen them fly around the world especially that cheeky boy who's mm. always whining his waist he's now a global phenomenon we've seen him uh there's this song they did with this artist he used to date chloe kardashian as in they, they were part of, they, they danced they were they did choreography for the song so they have really blown up the and unforgettable song. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just because of social media. So mm -hmm. it does have its its bad side. Mm. But when it's good, it is so When it's good. good, it's really, really good. Another thing, let's not also forget that um, it can really help with... I feel like we just need to change the narrative. Because mm -hmm. social media... If there was a way to separate those two, so only people within a certain age can access people within a certain age. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. So only children can talk to other children. And... The, all of these things but it, it is what it is however i feel like if we teach children to use these tools properly mm -hmm. then they can create their own narratives they can create their own lives and how their their, their relationship with social media can also change like mm -hmm. it all starts it's a revolution but it starts with one with one conscious decision mm -hmm. if children just decide they will say no to 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 random gender gender they will do it themselves they can start their own positive campaigns and help each other out and support each other as children mm -hmm. we think they're small little things which who don't know what to do but in in all all realities when we were children we knew what to do mm -hmm. you know so why assume your child doesn't have the same capabilities or abilities so i think it's important for us to also give them a chance to create their own environments create their own social media mm -hmm. uh, communities and, and friends and family monitoring still but it's important for us to give them the tools to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think how you can do that is simply just becoming a good role model. How do you use your social media? You know, mm -hmm. it would be very difficult for a person who is a, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to look for, it'd be very difficult for a person, if, if Kim Kardashian was the Kim, the original Kim Kardashian, right? Mm -hmm. The one whose sex tapes were being leaked right, left and center. And now she has daughters and then her daughters go online and this is what their mother is doing. Of course, they're going to emulate the same things, you know, so create role models um, for your children to enable to give them a mold of what you should look like on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, what's something else you should do for your children? Mm, I feel like we're always talking about how evil social media is and how there are so many bad people. But as Kathami has said, change the narrative. Why not be the person who's actually putting out good content clean your content. positive content mm -hmm. clean content you're showing up as your most authentic self and then your children are showing up as their most authentic selves and you know even that's their you need like tools to safeguard them nobody's going to bully your child just make sure that they're showing up in a very presentable manner we've seen this lady on tiktok who was actually portraying her daughter in a very negative light and people were able to actually and i actually loved that for for you know for tiktok the mass people reporting. called out yeah. mass that reported woman that and account. said stop doing that to your daughter mm. she'd have her daughter say this very weird things i don't see i swallowed it was very weird and she's all of three years old and i just loved how as human beings we came together and and called out this woman and said hey you need to stop doing this